Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farms. So what are we doing today? Well, today we are taking the bladders out and we're going to cut the front section of the IBC totes out. So that way the kids have something to stack the wood into. So stay tuned. So if this is your first time here at the channel, uh, welcome. My name is Andy and this is Class Haven Farm. So if you've been following us for a while, you know that uh, I picked up eight of these IBC totes uh, from a local company and I ended up, I got one from a friend and then I had another buddy that contacted me uh, earlier this week and he had this one. So I went by his place and picked that up. So the game plan, as I've said, is to use this for firewood storage. But before we can store firewood in these, we have to take these bladders out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these T40 bolts up on the top. I'm taking these cross braces out. So that way I can flip this thing upside down and yank the bladder out. I actually meant flip this thing on its side and pull the bladder out, not flip it upside down because that would just make it harder. Now I tend to keep these braces in here, especially if they're in good shape. Because what I like to do is after I take the bladder out, I put these back in, run the bolts back in. So that way it gives me some stability here on the top of the tote. Um, because when you cut a section of this front out, it actually loses some of uh, the strength to the frame. So I like to try to put these back in there. That way I can still keep the strength of the frame while still being able to use it and put it on the forks with the tractor and move it around. Now that the cross braces are out, we'll lay this thing down on the side. And pull the bladder out. Now some of you asked me after that last video what I plan to do with the bladders. Uh, and I explained it in the last video, but in case you didn't understand it, what I'll do is, uh, I'm not going to do it today just because I got other stuff going on. I'm going to cut this part of the bladder off in a straight line and then I'll do the same thing down here at the bottom and then basically this would give me a top and then I can take the top and store it on top of the firewood especially when it is near the house because I'm going to let this sit open I'm not going to put a top on it during the spring and summer months because that's like the prime time for your firewood to dry out so I want it to stay open uh, but in the winter time when I'm bringing it up close to the house I'm going to put the top on there so we can keep the water off. As some of you, if you watched that last video, remember I had talked about picking up one of those portable garage in a box um, shelters. So come September of 2024, I will move as many of these totes into that shelter as I possibly can. And then that way they're undercover. They have no chance of having any more rain or anything on top of them. I can fold both of the front and the back of those doors up so I can still get some air to go in there on days like today where it's not raining. Um, but I don't have to worry about weather coming down through the top. It's just when I pull those totes out and bring them close to the house. Because when I put them on the back side of the house to feed into the uh, Fire Chief indoor wood furnace, I don't have any way to keep water off of them besides putting tarps over it. So I figured I could keep these covers and then put those over the top. The other section of this will get used to put under the county line log splitter. And as I'm splitting my firewood, all of the scraps and the bark and all that stuff will fall down in there. So it's a lot easier to gather it and pull it out of there and either put it in the burn barrel or put it in buckets and use it for kindling for next burning season. And there you have it. Now I can put pieces in, I can easily take pieces out, and I can get to this entire tote, which is a lot easier doing it this way 
than it is coming from the top. So I'm going to do another one of these because the kids want to earn some money by stacking firewood in these totes. So I'm going to do another one for them. And uh, I think I'm going to do three all together today. And then they're going to do a race to see who can stack the most and then who can make the most money. So when we come back, you're going to get to watch them stacking their firewood. So as you can see, uh, we got the kids here stacking the totes up. So they are going to work on this pile that we have. And uh, I'll keep getting some totes ready for them. I'm going to probably do one more piece. So they have two. And they each have their own idea of how they think this would be the easiest. So they are stacking the back row first, and then they will stack the front row. And we'll see uh, who gets it done first. So Lily Tamer is on the left, and Chicken Whisper is on the right. As you can see, my helpers are done. Um, <laughs> so the left side was Lily Tamer. Right side was a chicken whisperer. You can see he definitely stacked a lot more in his pile. And then he ended up finishing most of his sister's pile too because uh, she had gone to a sleepover and was tired. So she didn't want to do this anymore. But that's okay. Dad will finish it up. So I'll go ahead and finish getting this wood stacked in there. These two totes are done. And uh, I guess when the kids are done with their break, maybe they can come out here and stack the other two. So if you guys kind of like this stuff, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us along. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one.